This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. One of the first commitments made by the new administration is the $2 trillion spending on environmental concerns. With renewables like solar panels, wind turbines, and even batteries for electronic vehicles, the use of silver will soar. But of course, we don't have enough silver to cover the demand. And that is good for investors and the price of silver. If you're thinking of an IRA or a 401k, now is the time to look at silver. And this month, with every gold or silver IRA, they're giving away one of these incredible five ounce solid silver Apollo 11 memento coins with every silver IRA that started. Click on the Noble Gold link in the description or pinned comment right now and learn more about future proofing your investments. We're talking about bullying before, but apparently the latest group who feels bullied are white people. 55% of them say they believe there is discrimination against white people in America. But when asked for specific examples, they couldn't quite say what they thought it was. So what do you think white people are worried about in terms of being discriminated against? I'm very confused I'm by it. I'm not asking you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you asking? It's a white girl. I'm just wilding you. <laughs> we happen to have three, so I thought maybe y'all would have some insight. <laughs> Texas A&M asks, when is it okay to kill whites? New York professor says that having a white nuclear family promotes white supremacy. Professor tweets that white people should commit mass suicide. Professor says, kill cops, kill all white people, kill the straights. And yet another professor says that they want to kill all white people for Christmas. Are you starting to see the pattern here? Trinity College professor calls white people inhuman. Let them fucking die. College professor believing in hard work is white ideology. Theology. USC professor calls for a holocaust against all white people? How do these people keep getting jobs? Unless that is the entire purpose of all of this. Professor, some white people may have to die to solve racism. Yes, clearly, targeting people for their skin color and then mass murdering them is obviously the solution to racism. Hey, welcome back everyone. Today I have something to talk about that's almost certainly going to give us all a series of embolisms, but it's a problem that's seemingly getting worse and worse every day, and it's something that we need to address. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps this channel. As most of you have probably heard by now, it's been leaked that Coca-Cola is now forcing their employees to attend straight up racist indoctrination sessions where they are told to be quote, less white. I can't be any less white, but I can definitely drink less Coke, which seems really similar to what happened at New York City schools where the principal asked parents to become quote white traitors. Not being a white traitor means you're a white supremacist. Think the Salem witch trials. The only way to avoid being labeled a witch and murdered is just to start accusing everybody else of being witches. You've been accused of a crime you did not commit. It's impossible to prove your innocence. If you insist that you're innocent anyway, you'll likely be found guilty and executed. But if you confess, apologize and implicate others for good measure you'll go free well gee that sounds familiar i guess you could call those people witch traitors is this for real What's the definition of racism? Prejudice, discrimination, antagonism directed at people on the basis of their membership to a particular racial group. The belief that a race possesses characteristics or qualities that are then used to distinguish them as inferior or superior. Well, folks, I think we hit all the marks here. Literally every single box is checked. Oh, but you know what they would tell you if you protested that it's impossible to be racist to a white person. How convenient. Nothing nefarious about that at all so it's impossible to discriminate against white people it's impossible to be racist to white people and apparently it's impossible to murder white people i think about white people in many different contexts and it's upsetting sometimes to think about how much whiteness invades my life and my mind yeah that's literally your own psychotic racist problem i'm angry at white people most of the time. <laughs> I think the reason why we don't order white power people is because they are protected. In a sense. What are you talking about? According to the statistics, black people kill quite a bit more white people per capita than the other way around. I, I as people of color, I don't think that we have the same sense of loss to kill others as much at the same rate. I think that white people now have become, it's like just part of like whiteness. 
to be abusive and violent. Look, I'm not attributing violence or murder to any race because I think that's completely insane and in fact racist. But again, looking at the stats, it appears that black Americans and Latino Americans have much higher murder rates per capita than white people. And it's not an issue of white people killing black people because if you look, black on black homicide is the highest rate of any other group in this country. And again, I'm not making some sort of racial argument against black people or minorities at all. I'm simply trying to counter the propaganda that's being put out to make people hate white people. I think if you're not supporting people of color and to end white supremacy and you're neutral, or you are that person that's perpetrating it, then you shouldn't. I, I think you deserve harm. So I couldn't find the raw clips from the actual art institute this came from. So I had to use the clips from Sydney Watson's video on this topic. Make sure you go check out her video when you're done here. Can you believe this racist video came from an art institute? It really reminds me of what we saw come from the Smithsonian, which put out a document claiming that things like rational thinking, hard work, delayed gratification, and the nuclear family are all examples of white supremacy. Those damn white people and their scientific method. We joke, but this is some serious shit. You can't have this kind of propaganda and rhetoric swirling around for generations and have it end any other way but violence. We see it over and over again throughout history, but as we all well know by now, it's different when Democrats do it. Look at what's going on in San Francisco where a teen, wink, wink, murdered an elderly Asian man. Not only is the media running cover by using subterfuge tactics, but they're also using the occasion of a black teen murdering an Asian to direct more hate and pain paranoia towards white people. Or how about the innocuous slogan, it's okay to be white, meaning there's nothing wrong with it. Look at every example of that sign popping up and you're going to find people claiming that it's disgusting or hateful or racist. Really? Saying that it's okay to exist as a white person in this country is in itself racist? I mean, that really just shows you where we're at in this country. In one North Fort Worth neighborhood woke up to an unsettling side and now they can't figure out if it was a prank or something more. Tim Molasin is joining us. Uh, at the very least, this thing can i saw the signs it's concerning I mean, at the at the least their phone video and pictures taken of the area show the signs reading it's okay to be white posted onto lampposts and other pieces of public property district four councilman carrie moon isn't taking it lightly and i condemn any type of uh, literature uh, sign that uh, is posted uh, that may be offensive to some folks. I don't get it. All of this is just so blatant. It makes me wonder if they think they're teaching white people a lesson or something. As if all of us are just inherent racist monsters and we all have to be taught otherwise. Remember that clip I showed you at the very beginning of this video? Look what will be said at the end of that segment. I understand that, but now maybe white folks will understand how we feel when people generalize about us. Okay, I'm sure I missed a bunch of examples here, but the point is we're witnessing the birth of a new era of racism and very possibly mass exterminations. That's exactly why they demonize us with such heated rhetoric day in and day out. It's a lot easier to do horrible things to people when you don't even see them as human anymore. It seems impossible that such a thing could be happening, but it is. It's happening right now. Better stand up for yourself while you still have the opportunity because time is running out. You can help me to expose the ghouls spreading this evil agenda by hitting that like button and subscribing. It really helps this channel. If you'd like to support this channel in other ways, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.